I'm yelling and screaming tomorrow, that's what's up. My brain is alive on two hours of sleep. Winning in life! Some of you gave me feedback in the comments that sometimes my pronunciation is a little bit mumbled and I started listening. You know what the problem is? Problem. The R. So for some words it's very pronounced. Pronounced. <laughs> so very is alright. But if I have to say pearl or dwap, remember those? For me it's hard. I don't know why. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? I am Kripke. I am Kripke. <gasps> It's video. Look, hi. <laughs> Our bus to Rishikesh will depart from this bus station. Take a look around. It's interesting. I would like to find a bus, but I have a spare hour, so I just want to go to the washroom and maybe eat something. Yeah, it's quite interesting. I can spend an hour staring at the people here. It was so cute. The girl came up to me to see what was on my screen. <laughs> no shame in her game. Oh my god, I am officially scarred for life by this toilet. I would have preferred a hole in the ground to this place. And I paid 10 rupees. This is insane. Look at the arriving buses. I am starting to get a little bit nervous. No, 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 wait. I'm not eating anything except dried fruits and nuts. Because I'm going to be on a freaking bus for 8 hours. If I eat something bad now, I have a huge problem. Problem. This is a little bit creepy. I just got a phone call from a guy saying, asking me, are you going to Rishikesh? I was like, yes. He was like, you need to come to the office. I was like, why? You need to pick up the ticket. I was like, no, I have an e-ticket. No, 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 you need to pick up the ticket. And I was like, what are you talking about? I have an e-ticket for buying the ticket. You have to fill in your phone number. And after the stalking thing in uh, Kuala Lumpur, I'm quite hesitant to talk to people I don't know, so I was thinking maybe it's some guy who just saw a western name on the forum and thought, hey, let the girl come in so we can see a westerner or something like that. Maybe I'm judgmental, I don't know, but I'm not going to an office when I have an e-ticket. I have to say, it's quite intense taking this all in. Especially, look at the guys over there. Here. I don't know what they're doing. It looks like they're chilling on a bus. I don't know if the bus is going to drive like that. It's just, it's exactly the India I wanted to see, but I have to keep breathing because it's, I don't know, it's just intense seeing this. I just had the two most spiritual farmer hours of my time in India. I spent one and a half hour looking for the right bus stop because um, I wasn't in the right terminal so I went to the other side and then again a different side, blah 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 blah. I was walking all over the place. Luckily it's not that warm in Delhi but uh, my bag is heavy so it's quite annoying to walk around that much. One hour, one hour and a half. Finally I wanted to give up. I was in a mall. And the bus company called me. They were like, where are you? We're waiting for you. Blah, blah. And I was like, I can't find a bus stop. And he was like, but this is the bus number. I'm like, okay, that's nice. But I can't find a bus stop. So I looked at my Google Maps and I realized that I was in the wrong mall. So no wonder I couldn't find the bus terminal. So I walked back, rushing, rushing, already exhausted. And the bus company was waiting for me. And now it's 30 minutes later. I'm still at the bus terminal. So maybe Maybe they weren't waiting for me, they are just late. It doesn't matter, I'm just happy to be in this bus. I'm not joking, the spiritual farmer story was constantly in the back of my mind. Yay, we're leaving! And why buy the closing the door? It's so overrated to drive with a closed door. By luck or Delhi traffic, let's get some fresh air in the mountains. We stopped for a break, this is our bus. It took us, I think, an hour longer to get out of Delhi and Delhi traffic is crazy. So. It takes you a lot of time to get out of the city anyway. For lunch, I've ordered a paneer paratha and a masala omelet. Looks so good and I'm hungry. I think this is going to be the most interesting bus trip I've ever had. Just in general, the most interesting travel day I've ever had. Yeah, we're off, we're off. Rishikesh, here we go. Look, step into my office. 
And they have a laptop and everything. This is amazing. <laughs> you know what else is fun news? I haven't booked any accommodation. I didn't know where the bus would stop in Rishikesh and I didn't want to risk booking some accommodation like all the way across the town. So I thought we would be arriving quite early at 6 p.m. But that's obviously not going to be the case. I guess we're arriving somewhere maybe at 9, 10, 11, something like that. And I will have to look for accommodation in the dark. Joy. Also, this is one of the poorest parts of India I have seen until now. People living in tents, making fires. Wait, here you can see a little bit more. There's not really that much to see outside, so that's a little bit of a downer. On the bright side, we're nearby Rishikesh. So it's not going to be too late when we arrive. What is happening? Why are they running? <laughs> I've seen children running in movies, but why are they running? What is happening? Oh my gosh. Are these like carriers? But there are so many of them. What is going on? I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. I don't mind people approaching me and hustling for their daily food and whatever. Everybody has to make a living, but groups of people and especially groups of men approaching you and surrounding you no 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 no. i cannot handle they're either carriers or rickshaw drivers so this is going to be interesting when we arrive in rishikesh i hate it when groups of men come running towards you when you get out of public transportation so yeah not looking forward to that look at the little village up there here this is my finger I really hope we're going there. Looks like fun up the mountains. Wow, this bridge looks kind of impressive. All of the legs. We have arrived and there's a hotel. I don't know if you can see it across the street. So in worst case scenario, I will stay there. Also, there's a mister here trying to help me. And there's a cow. Hello. This was really nice. When I got off the bus, I met a Canadian guy, Patrick. We shared a rickshaw. I wanted to go to this hotel and he was like, sure, I will come with you. He took a different room here and I took a room. I've never told you this, but when you travel, you decide if you travel alone or if you want to meet new people. Like sometimes I will just shut myself completely down if I don't want to talk to people and then I'm by myself a lot. So you could see that in Thailand. I was I wasn't talking with a lot of people and because I just didn't want to and when I came to India after Malaysia I was like oh, I really want to meet new people and I want to hang out with people and then I did a yoga teacher training with Luna and Roberto and then I met my couch surfing host Kabir who is now a friend and now in Delhi I was with uh, with the Saxena family and here I just met Patrick so it's a mindset if you want to be alone you can be alone if you don't want to be alone traveling you will never be alone. No, I just found out I forgot my iPhone charger in Delhi. This sucks. My phone is almost dead. Put a thumbs up if you lost an iPhone charger in your life. I have a really nice room. Um, the bed sheets look a little bit mama, but it's really clean. It's quite big. I have a nice bathroom. Let me show you. So this is it. There you go. Really nice. I have a lot of space. I can do my own yoga practice here. Yes, I just found the incense sticks in my bag, which I got yesterday for Diwali. I am so happy with this. This will make my room smell really good. I'm just going to light one. One more thing. I'm not going to pay any attention to people saying, Oh, why are you vlogging in English? Blah, blah, blah. Well, actually, I'm just going to say one more one thing about it. Um, don't be greedy. Don't be Dutch. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm going to say about it. But otherwise, I just want to thank you guys for supporting me, for having my back, for traveling with me. I love, love having you around. And that's that's also a thing. I'm never alone. I always have you and you always travel with me. And I always say things like, we travel together. We are going these places. We are staying in this room because I really feel that way. I'm always talking to you. So. 
thank you thank you thank you so much for being there for me and traveling with me it's a pleasure having you here finally there are many cows here every step of the way there's at least one cow and it makes me so happy they look really cute. It's so good. And it's... Tastes like butterscotch. Yes, yes, yes. It's so 